What's going on guys? Reaper here and welcome to Reaper Declassified. Hope everybody had a happy and safe Christmas and I hope you got some of your favorite people some really cool things or just things they really needed. Now I'm not really one of those types of people that celebrates Christmas at least not in the way that most people do but I still get some of my favorite people some pretty neat gifts every other year so what I do just because I have so many people in my friend circle or what I consider family uh, I tend to pick a couple people each year to buy something on Christmas and then just alternate out so uh, people I didn't buy something for Christmas this year you know I turn around and buy them something for their birthday and then the next year I'll alternate out and buy some friends I didn't buy something for Christmas or their birthday that year so this time around I wound up getting Tony kind of this neat little Christmas package deal of stuff, but also something that I've been wanting to do and work on for a while is turning this old cigar box into a neat little gun case. Those of you that have been watching for a while know that Tones and I are pretty big cigar guys and over the years we've come up with quite a few cigar boxes and as a result I decided to start making custom knife and gun cases out of them. With Christmas coming up I decided it was time to go ahead and knock out Fat Tony's custom case. So first things first I needed to come up with some red velvet for the lining of this box and make a pattern because I wanted to be able to put this lining in in one piece for an overall cleaner look quickly learned that this wound up being somewhat of a pain in the butt, but the finished result was definitely worth it. I this leftover 25 round count casing holder that I wound up framing and making a part of the box. I wound up using popsicle sticks covered in the same red velvet to frame it in, as well as the spare magazine partition. Okay, quick intermission because I want to show Fat Tony unboxing this year's Christmas present. But first, I actually got Fat Tones a similar Christmas present to this some years ago in a multi-piece gift just kind of like this uh, but that year I specifically got him a complete lower that I hand built for him for an AR also a plate carrier which in his ultimate excitement he quickly found out he put the, the thing on backwards no now I got it on backwards son of a bitch I was about to say, because then your name's supposed to be in the front. Yeah. That's what I Why'd thought. you tell me this? I don't know. What's up, play it. What's up? So you want to open your present? Yeah. Let's do it. That's yours. Okay. Kind of heavy. You put it on the table. Open it up. You're gonna have to open it, bro. That's not all, that's not the only thing. It's Velcroed. How much we stupid? Just. Ah! Uh, I'm pretty stupid. Careful, don't jump out and bite you. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You like that? Hell yeah. And then I also got you all those mags for your AR, some ammo, and I figured you could use a gun case to put it in. So. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. So, Reaper got me a Christmas present. I got him one too. Okay. Let's go look. Let's uh, let's check it out. Put him a deal. Put him a deal. Okay. Oh, oh, sweet. Yeah, it's yours. Really? Yeah, it's a piece of shit, but you know it's yours. What? Boom! It's kind of looking sexy. I feel like it's like kind of like a wick chair. I f*** you in it. Say what? I like this. You sure? Oh, dude, I like it. Oh, good. I'm gonna sleep in this thing. I, I almost <laughs> did. Oh, it's so comfy. It is. I love it. Dude, that's cool. Hell yeah! It's only part of it, though. What? Yeah. There's more? Yeah, it ain't here, though. Part two. There's more. But seriously, check out that chair. Dude. Yes. 
Okay, so in case you didn't know why I'm so excited about a chair, well, uh, let's just cut to that. You want to say it? Huh? Oh, are you going to work? Nah, that ain't going nowhere. I'm sure you guys can gather the chair Tony bought me for Christmas is basically like sitting in a king's throne. It is super amazing. So the story behind the old chair is that I've had it for like seven or eight years. Fat Tones and his dad originally gave it to me back when they were living in Branson and somebody had left it in one of the old apartments. They took it. I don't know if they were going to sell it. It wound up going into my Connex for a long time for storage purposes and at the time I already had kind of a, a cheap chair as it was and so I used it beyond its means until it fell apart. Went and got that chair out of the Connex, started using it. Well, as you guys can see, I've used it well beyond its means. Yep! It's not that I couldn't afford a new chair, but when it comes to furniture, I guess I'm a little bit of a cheap bastard. Yup! I've come across several chairs over the years that I looked at, super affordable, and was kind of like, oh man, I'm gonna buy this. I like this chair, I should buy it. And I'd think a little bit more about it, and I'd be like, uh, while I do have the money and can afford it, I can't because no, there's this thing I want to buy or that thing I want to buy. So I just couldn't bring myself to spend the money on the chair, which has become pretty evident to everybody in my life. And everybody that comes over looks at that chair and looks at me and is like, dude, why do you still have that thing? Father Time is constantly, you know, talked about burning it, throwing it away when I'm gone, just all kinds of things. Because clearly I would have sat in that chair until it was a pile of nothing. Yep! Well, more nothing than what it is now. It's a super awesome chair. I love it. It's amazing and it's just a perfect gift. So thanks Holmes. I love you, man. That I love that chair that you bought me. It is amazing. But anyway, guys, back to the cigar box into gun case for fat tones. Let's check it out. So what I did is your old label got kind of nasty yeah. over time. I took the one from inside and cleaned that up. So if you want to put any kind of like brassard or label or something else okay, in there, yeah. and then just put it back out here and smooth it out right, and glued right. it down right. And then I went and made this in the corner. That's why I wanted measurements of your, your Pistola oh. and the magazine. So your magazine should sit right in this little slot and your pistol here. And then you've got 25 extra rounds there. 